hopefully it doesn't hide it die here. Yeah, you see, he stopped, he kept on merging stuff. So now he doesn't have... Wow, that lucky bastard. <laughs> Hello my friends and welcome to the first ever viewer wish video. You can just make me do whatever YouTube video you want. First ever guy to wish anything was crazy. He wants me to show him an inquisitor deck, like a guide to how to set up everything, what to upgrade first with um, Dryad. And yeah, in general, just a small guide on um, how to use this deck properly. It is very, very strong. So I will just hop into a game and show you how this is done and uh, what you should pay attention to. Hope we find, find a decent enemy that can keep up and still not going to destroy us too hard. <clears throat> I think we found one. <laughs> Actually playing more or less the same, just without the uh, chemist. He has a much easier time to set up the board because uh, he's having portal keeper, so he can just move his um, Inquisitor next to a statue. Um, chemist pretty much doubles, doubles my damage. <clears throat> so if I manage to get um, four Inquisitors next to my statues, I will uh, out damage him 100%. I would out damage him anyway because I just have higher items and a higher gadget. But um, if, you, if I would be lower than this guy, I could still win because I have Chemist that uh, has pretty much double damage. Well, he made the first big mistake already. He merged. He shouldn't have merged. That's a very big mistake. Um, just fill your board. This is very, very uh, cruel, especially when you play with um, Chemist, because you can't move your stuff around. So you need to fill your board first before you do anything. So hopefully he doesn't hide it die here. Yeah, uh, you see, he stopped. He kept on merging stuff. So now he doesn't have. Wow, that lucky bastard. <laughs> yeah, but in the end, uh, better to have a portal keeper than to have a statue, obviously, on the board. That's why you should never ever merge um, like two portal keepers because you will, might end up having a statue and then you do no damage at all and you lose. This nearly happened to him. So, this is like one reason why you should always um, fill your board first and don't merge the stuff. So I have tier 1 units all over the place. I'll just sick now with my one Inquisitor here. And collect some mana. He is, if you get like two Inquisitors or just an odd number of Inquisitors, whenever you don't have mana, you pretty much immediately lose. This is where most of the Inquisitor players fuck off. Oh no. Oh damn. Close my set, that was very unlucky. First game was an immediate win because the other guy played pretty much the same deck. Ooh, that's an interesting one. Again, what the fuck? Yeah. He's playing pretty much the same, um, except of having Ward Keeper instead of Dryad and he's having Bombardier instead of Chemist. <coughs> so he is having a much easier time to set up his board because he can just move the Inquis Inquisitors where they are supposed to be. Um, but I'm having a much easier time to get a tier 2 scrapper 
And also I have a shit ton of value, additional value compared to him because I don't have to eat um, a lot of units to get my, uh, my um, tier 1 units to tier 2 units. I can just upgrade them because um, he has to eat 4 units to get a proc off of Scrapper and to upgrade this guy to a tier 2 unit. I can just do this. That costs me one unit and um, this guy is a tier 2 unit, so much much cheaper to um, take drives instead of eating all the units. Um, yeah, just to upgrade them. It's worth uh, to do this with drives until they are tier 3. And as soon as you have your whole board uh, on tier 3, you can start eating the drives as well. Till then, you should keep the drives. Um, one thing that I see a lot of people doing wrong is they immediately buff this guy. They shouldn't do this. Because the first thing you want to do is to completely fill your board. I have one guy next to a statue, which was lucky. But I want to get other guys next to statues. So I'm going to fill the board. That's the easiest way to obtain this is by having everything on tier 1 and fill the board. Because after I filled the board, I know where all the units and statues are. Maybe I get another another one here. Maybe I get um, another one here. You you don't know until you try. That's why I need to fill the board first. So now let's fill the board. You see, I like this statue already much more. So now that I have a full board, I can go and I want, to, for example, I want to have an Inquisitor here. So I'm going to free this space, drop another unit. It's not an Inquisitor. So I am going to pull this one away. Drop another unit, not an Inquisitor. Pull this guy away, another unit. Still not an Inquisitor, put this away. It's very important that you pull it away from the place that you want. Because whenever you drop a unit, it will get back to this place. Now it's an Inquisitor. I want to have another Inquisitor here. No, or here. Ah, preferably here. There we go. There we go. And this is a very, very easy setup. You can do this every time whenever you have to set up anything next to statues. Just take, make, uh, do this method. I mean, it sucks if I pull this stuff away and this guy would have happened to be a tier 2 inquisitor. Yes, this sucks. But in the end, uh, this is the only way you can make sure that your inquisitor lands where you want them. By having a complete full board and always empty that space that you want your, in your unit to be. So now I'm already set up pretty much. Um, the first thing I would upgrade, it doesn't really matter to be, to be honest. Um, just make sure everything is like tier 2 in the beginning. Uh, whenever everything is tier 2, upgrade the statues first. Because they uh, not only give they much more speed to the Inquisitors, they also increase the, increase the crit chance which is insanely valuable. This is like uh, additional crit chance is absolutely broken. It's absolutely broken. And you realized, you maybe realized I didn't upgrade any of the Inquisitors yet. That's because I want to build up the board first. All the mana you have in the beginning until your board is done is supposed to be going onto your board. So you don't want to run out of mana just because you upgraded this guy to let's say uh, tier to the maximum and then you don't have any mana anymore and if you drop a unit or anything bad happens you are stuck without mana and you start to lose this is like the most the worst case scenario so this is why you always should build up your board first before you upgrade the stuff if you play on higher leagues uh, you will never ever see a player upgrading the stuff they normally start to upgrade their units on Wave 2, 3, 4, that's just the, the last thing they do. It does do a lot and they always do it, of course, but it's never a priority. Setting up the board is always the highest priority. And from here, you just keep on eating stuff. Uh, just drop one after another. This is also very important. I just did it wrong. Yeah, now we go for the second statue here. This guy is next to a statue or not, it doesn't really matter. Because it doesn't do nothing uh, regarding the damage compared to your Inquisitors, so fuck that guy next to a statue. 
Now you just keep on eating the stuff. One by one. I will be doing a scrapper video because uh, scrapper is such a powerful card and you can do so many things wrong. So I just tell you the very basics of, of scrapper. Everybody thinks he knows how scrapper works, but um, a lot of people do a lot of mistakes with it. Let's upgrade this guy. So, quickly show you. Now I've eaten three. Now I've eaten four. And whenever you have four, it gets proc ready. So the next thing I eat will do a proc. Um, everybody knows this, it's not, not a secret. But let's say I have three of them. If I eat something again now, I have four and I'm proc ready. So it means for less I can eat another unit, so I'm proc ready, and another unit, and the proc will go off. So I need to eat two units, so the proc goes off. If I eat now that I have three guys eaten already, if I eat the tier 2 unit now, just doing it for demonstration purposes, I will have eaten five guys and I will be proc ready. So that means I just ate two units, which should be normally the already cause uh, the, this guy to proc, but it doesn't because uh, it doesn't matter how many no, it always gets proc ready at 4, whenever you eat 4 guys, but if you eat more than 4 guys, it just gets proc ready whenever it's over the number 4. So I just wasted 1 unit by eating um, a higher tier unit, so I ate a tier 2 guy, meaning I ate actually 2 units, instead of eating just normal guys. Do you know what I mean? So now I'm back to one. Another good thing is, oops, uh, if you're at one like me now, you can merge them. You will be on two and whatever comes out, you can eat that and would be at four. But as we have a tier two tried, we are and still tier two units here. We are going to invest them into the these units until they are tier 3. Starting from there, we are going to eat this, the drides, but until then, we are going to keep them. Uh, obviously, whenever you have um, an Inquisitor on the field, use that one first. There we go. We have another one. So now, bam. From here, we start to eat the drides because uh, I was able to upgrade the tier 2 Inquisitor to a tier 3 Inquisitor just by um, using two units like combine two um, drives and put it inside of that. If I want to do the same with a proc, I need to eat four units. So to the point where they are tier 3, it's actually worth to, um, um, to put the drives in there. Starting from tier 3, I would have to to invest four drives inside of this guy to make it from tier three to tier four, and if uh, four units is pretty much what I have to eat with scrapper to get a proc off. In the best possible case, I even get like two procs off, um, and then it's it's not worth it anymore. Off the tier three, it's not worth to put the drives anymore inside of the units. So, yeah. Then you just continue. Always make sure you don't um, over merge. Yeah, GG. Good game. As you saw, I had like, I don't know, 25k mana left. And I already had a decent board here, so. Um, I was very slow because I explained a lot. Blah, 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 blah. But uh, this way, if you don't eat tier 2 units, whenever you are already at 3 eaten units, so uh, you don't get to five and with that waste one one additional unit. Um, sounds complicated but uh, I, I hope you know what you mean otherwise you just try, try it out yourself. If you don't do this you save a lot of mana so, or let's say you don't waste any mana with, with Scrapper. This way it's super super easy to 
in games against your opponent, especially if you don't know this stuff, how Scrapper works properly, and he is wasting a lot of units by eating tier 2s in a bad moment. Um, yeah, you will just out damage him because you get more procs off, uh, you have to put down less units. This is how you beat all the guys that play Scrapper. So, I hope this was a little helpful to you, especially the setting up is very important. Always fill the board first with tier 1 unit and place your units the way you want them. And um, yeah, just hang out into my stream. You can wish your own YouTube video, just tell me what it is and I'll do a YouTube video about it. So I'm streaming every Monday, Thursday and Saturday at 8pm. Berlin time, I think it is. <laughs> uh, yeah. Just come to my uh, Twitch and you, you will see the schedule. Thanks a lot. Please don't forget to subscribe and like and comment. And yeah, wish you a wonderful day. Thanks a lot.